Now here in this video, I will tell you the simplest means of uh, getting the answer for this type of questions. How many liters of water must be added to 1 liter of an aqueous solution of HCl with the pH of 1 to create an aqueous solution of pH of 2. So here we have to make pH 1 solution to pH 2. Remember pH is equal to negative 2 logarithm of hydrogen and concentration to base 10. So here lower the pH value higher will be the strength of the material. If the pH value is low that means it is a concentrated solution. If the pH value is more that means it is a dilute solution with respect to pH value, uh, low pH value. Similarly, if the pH value is low, the concentration of hydroxylane is uh, more in that. So, to tell the answer for this, I have a simple and a shortcut method. Now, take this uh, chart, the pH or pH chart of 1 to 14. So, in this, so if the pH value is less than 7, it is acidic, more than 7, that is pH is more than 7, it is basic. Or you can use this as pH also. If it is uh, less than uh, 7, it is more uh, basic in nature. Right? If you take the pH scale, it is more basic. Normally, we take pH. So, here, if the pH value or pOH value is less than 6, 6 uh, between if the pH value or pOH value is between 1 to 6, then the hydrogen or hydroxylion is. So, if pH value is x or pOH value is x, then if x value is between 1 to 6, the hydrogen ion concentration is 10 raised to minus x mole or if OH is given then hydroxyl ion concentration is 10 raised to minus x that is when x value is between 1 to 6. Say for example, if the pH is 1 the hydrogen ion concentration is 10 raised to minus 1 mole. If OH is 1 then the hydroxyl ion concentration is 10 raised to minus 1 likewise 2 means 10 raised to minus 2, 3 means 10 raised to minus 3, 6 means 10 raised to minus 3. So, this is the this by this means you can tell the hydrogen or hydroxyl ion by knowing pH or pOH in the solution. Now, let us uh, see how to solve this question. So, very simple method, I will tell you the simplest means. Now, take the difference between the two solutions, pH uh, lower pH and higher pH. The difference between the two is between 2 and 1 is 1. So, if the difference between the uh, 2 is 1, right, then the volume of the solution that is net volume of the dilute solution, right the dilute solution is equal, let it be equal to V2 and that is equal to 10 raised to x, where x is the difference between the two pH values, difference between the two pH value, difference between two pH 2 and 1 is 1, so difference is 1, so that is equal to the, the volume, the net volume of the dilute solution is equal to 10 raised to 1 and that is equal to 10 liters. So, here volume of the pH 2 solution is 10 liters, then to get uh, pH 2 solution, the quantity of water to be added to the concentrated solution, here concentrated is pH 1 solution is how much? So, one net volume of the dilute solution minus volume of the concentrated solution, that is it, net volume of the dilute solution minus volume of the concentrated solution, dilute solution is V2, the, uh, 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 concentrated solution is V1, so that is 10 minus 2 1, so which is equal to 9 liter. So, if you add 9 liters of water to 1 liter of pH 1 solution, you can get the pH 2 solution. Answer is 9 liter for this. Now, in this, I will also tell you for other solution also, either from 1 or uh, 1 pH or 2 or any other pH, pH solution, how to make a pH of uh, lower concentration, right. So, how to make this pH, right. For example, I want to make pH 3 from pH 1. I have to make pH 3 from pH 1, right. So, then the difference between 3 and 1 is 2, then the volume, net volume of the dilute solution is equal to 10 raised to 2, which is equal to 100 liters. So, volume of the uh, dilute solution is uh, 100 and you know the volume of the concentrated solution, what is given there, you substitute here in this case, it is 1, 100 minus 1 is 99 liters. So, if the volume of the concentrated solution is different, you substitute accordingly and that difference will give the one quantum of water to be added so as to get the desired pH. Likewise, you can do it for the pH 4 from pH 1 and 5 from 1 and not necessarily from 1, right. We can start from 2 to 3. So, you have pH 2, you have to make pH 3. So, difference between 2 and 3 is 1 and the uh, uh, volume of the dilute solution is uh, 10 raised to 1. So, that is equal to 10 liters. Likewise, you have a pH 2 and you have to make pH 6. The difference between 6 and 2 is equal to 4, then the volume of the dilute solution is equal to 
10 raised to 4 that is equal to 1 followed by 4 zeros. So, by knowing the number you can uh, write the zeros in front of 1. So, if the difference between 2 pH is 1 then 10 liters the 1 followed by 1 zero. If the difference between 2 pH is uh, 2 then 1 followed by 2 zeros. If the difference between the 2 pH solution is 3 1 followed by 3 zeros. 4 1 followed by 4 zeros. 5 1 followed by 5 zeros. So, by knowing the difference right uh, you can prepare the uh, desired solution. So, you will come to know the volume of the dilute solution and then by taking the difference between concentrated and dilute solution we can get, tell you you can tell how much of the water to be added. So, this is the simplest and shortcut method to find answers for this type of questions right. So, this is a very simple uh, method right. Now, let me tell you the uh, gist of a shortcut method which I explained just now. So, lower pH is an uh, concentrated solution of volume B 1 and higher pH will be a dilute solution and uh, for that we will volume to be determined that is equal to 10 raise to x where x is equal to uh, higher pH minus lower pH. So, with this you can calculate V 2 once you calculate V 2, V 2 minus V 1 will give the volume of water to be added to get a dilute solution right from a, a concentrated solution. This is the very simplest method to approach to the solution for the given problem this type of problems. Now, let us take another set of uh, questions. If the pH, pH of a solution obtained by mixing equal volumes of the solution with pH 3 and pH 5 is how much? Here most of the students will go wrong by taking the average of 3 and 5. So, when you mix the two, you do not get the average. So, when you take the average of between 3 and 5, it happens to be 4. Unfortunately, the choice A is 4. Most of the students will commit this mistake. So, please uh, do not commit that mistake because when you mix the two solution, the con if the volume of the solution is equal, the pH, the concentration of hydrogen ions present in both the solution will become half of it. So, it will get half of it. So, here the pH of the uh, 3 is equal to 10 raise to minus 3 moles, pH 5 means 10 raise to 5 uh, minus 5 moles of hydrogen ion is there. So, when you mix the two solutions, then the concentration of each of it will get half. So, that means the concentration of hydrogen is equal to half into 10 raise to minus 3 plus half into 10 raise to minus 5. So, when you add these two, on adding these two, you will be getting uh, this value that is 5.05 into 10 raise to minus 4. So, take the uh, now take the pH value uh, uh, for this that is negative log of 5.05 into 10 raise to minus 4 this is equal to 4 minus of log 5.05 and uh, that will be equal to pH of uh, 4 minus 0 0.7032 simplify it it will be 0 uh, 3.33 it is not 4 it is 3.33. So, please do not get into the trap. So, here the uh, choice for A itself is uh, 4, most of the students will be trapped there and uh, in emergency they take this, but it is not true. So, please be cautious. Now, take another question. Equal volumes of 2 HCl solutions, each of pH 2 are mixed at 298 Kelvin. The pH of the resulting solution is here 2 different pH, whereas here 2 solutions are of the same solution, right. So, uh, the again equal volumes of the two solutions are mixed. Mind you, if you mix a identical solution, the pH of the solution does not alter. The pH so here, both the solutions are in equal volumes and if you mix those two, the pH of that will not alter. So, it will be 2 again, answer is 2. You can verify that. So, verification is again as I told you, when you mix the two solutions in equal volume, the concentration will be half of the original. So, that is concentration pH 2 means 10 raise to minus 2 that is equal to 0 0.01 uh, and half of it is half into 10 raise to minus 1 plus half into 10 raise to minus 2, 2 solutions. So, when you add these two what you get is this will be on simplification it is 0 0.005 plus 0 0.005 add this it will be 0 0.01 this 0 0.01 is nothing but 10 raise to minus 2 plus 10 raise to minus 2 is pH 2 and that is what the answer is. So, be cautious while reading the question and analyze it properly. Use wherever possible, use the shortcut methods which I have explained in the videos, in the earlier videos also and uh, answer the questions in a diligent manner. All the best.